Hey, we got a quick mesh mixer tip here for you today. So if we hit W and turn on our wireframe, you can see I just want to remesh this upper section to have it be the same as this. So if I do any smoothing or any uh, other sort of tools, everything kind of happens the same way across those surfaces. So the I've talked about this before, the remesh tool can sometimes be very slow and crash. And the reason for that if we select all this and do remesh, you can see right now it's fast because I'm set on relative density up here. And you can always do this, the gear, and hit reset to defaults, which is what that is. If we were to take this and go target edge length, that can take a very long time getting started. And Mesh Mixer will remember your last setting. So let's say we did that and then we wanted to do it again and if you if you try it and you find that something's taking a really long time the best thing to do is just select a very small area do a remesh and that'll pull it up without having uh, the need for too much computing to be done and then you can go into relative you can even hit cancel at that point select it all and next time you come in, it's already back to relative. So you could really easily get into this tool now with more complex meshes, bigger areas selected. So uh, if you run into issues, do a small area, drop it down to either defaults or relative, cancel out, and then select the larger area that you want to do. Let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.